Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bobby93MacBoy. Today I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. Now, if you guys have been following me since I first started my channel, you know that I have um, a video showing you how to get uh, Final Cut Express and Live Type for free, which are video editing softwares. And today I'm going to be doing my first uh, Final Cut Express tutorial. Now, in today's, t the effect that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do in today's tutorial is the censored uh the censoring um, effect. So that's like if you're making a video and you swear and you want to beep the swear word out, you see it on TV all the time, and you want to cover their mouth with like a sensor bar or something like that, or maybe a middle finger somebody's holding up, or just anything you want to censor, maybe like something you're holding in your hand that you don't want people to know what it is, just anything. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the censor effect for uh, in Final Cut Express. Now, it's it's very simple, and I'll show you guys how to do it. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your project uh, library, take your uh, clip and drag it into the time timeline. Now, I'm going to render this. Hold up. So you go sequence, render all. This will load it so that you can play it. Okay. Sequence, render all. Okay, there. So now it's rendering. This was the longest that it's going to take to render. Sorry if you guys noticed I'm sick. Um, that's why I haven't really made any good videos in a while. But here, so just the, here's the clip I'm going to censor. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 Math Boy, and I'm very sick. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit out the word very, and I'm going to put a sensor over my mouth as I'm saying very to make it look like I'm saying the F word or just anything like that. So, um,. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So first, now that you have your clip in the timeline, you're going to go to the effects tab, go to video generators, bars and tones, and then choose the bars and tones that matches the size of your video. I didn't really understand this when I first learned how to do it, but there's all these different video sizes, so I'm sure most of you guys would know which fits your video, but I just chose bars and tones, and then in parentheses, N-T-S-C, and it worked for me. So what you're going to do now is drag your um, bars and tones onto the viewer right here, or the canvas, and uh, click, go, it, drop it into superimpose. So now uh, we have our clip superimposed, which means that this bars and tones section is now on top of my clip that I already put in. So now what you're going to do is you're going to scale it down to size. And uh, if this doesn't work out for you, because sometimes it's a little like kind of auto sizing, you know, like you go a little too far and then it snaps too small and then it gets bigger and it's just kind of a hassle. You can click on it and go, or right click on it, sorry, and go to duration and choose the duration that you choose. So I'm going to choose ten, uh, 10, which is very small, but it's the size that I need. And so this will edit the audio and the video in your clip. Now, um, what you're going to do now is drag this uh, to where you think you need it so hold up let me render all oh, sorry render all it's gonna take a little long cuz I superimposed it my computer is very slow too usually it's faster than this okay so now let's see where I am three math boy and I'm very a little late um, let's see math boy and I'm very sick okay that's about right Maybe a little earlier, let's see. Math boy, and I'm very sick. Okay, so that sounds about right. Uh, let's render it. <sighs> see, that was quick. Everybody, so, it's Bobby93 Math Boy, and I'm very sick. Okay, so that's the right timing. Now that I have the right timing done, you're going to want to lock this top section. Now, I'm pretty sure you want to unselect everything so you're not holding on to anything. I'm pretty sure there's another way to do this. But this is what, how I'm going to get rid of the word vary in my audio and put the, the beeping sound in mind. So you're going to take your playhead, line it up so that it kind of snaps into line with these. And then you're going to lock this top section right here. There's a little lock button right here, if you guys see that. And it makes it so now when I click on this bottom thing and move it, this won't move along with it. So I'm going to now click on this uh, bottom thing and line it up with my playhead. Let go. And then now it should replace the audio. I'm going to unlock this. Now let's see what it is. Buddy, it's Bobby93 Math Boy, and I'm sick. Okay, so that beeped out what I already had said. Now, the way that you get this uh, big, see how when I hold up this? Big math boy and I'm 
See how the sensor bar thing is over the entire video? If you want to get the sensor bar down so it just covers your mouth or an object on the screen, here's how you do that. So what you're going to do is unselect everything, then make sure your playhead is in the middle of the uh, superimposed bars and tones clip. You're going to click on that, and then it comes out with these little crosshairs. Now what you're going to do is you're going to move it over a little bit. Now you can see your video is underneath it, and then you're going to scale it down to size. Just click on a corner. Scale it. It also gives you the option to rotate it, make it longer. Yes, see, as you guys see, you can make it rotate. But I'm just gonna place it over my mouth. Now, now when I render this and I play it, we 93 math boy and I'm sick. There you go. There's your sensor effect. This works on any type of video you're trying to make, whether it's you're trying to uh, edit an object out of the picture. Whatever you want to do, you can censor what you're saying and censor what's on the screen. So, And plus, if you wanted to just censor um, your mouth and not what you're saying, I think all I have to do is lock these two and take this, delete that. Now we click Render All. And then now when we play it back. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bobby93MathBoy, and I'm sick. So that kind of looked like I said it. All right, so there you guys go. That is the uh, censoring um, effect in Final Cut Express. This also works the same in Final Cut Pro, except for it might be a little hard to get at these effects because there's tons more effects in Final Cut Pro. Make sure you look out for some more Final Cut Express tutorials because I will be doing a lot of these, and I figured out how to do a lot of cool stuff in Final Cut Express that I haven't um, really done tutorials about. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the gunshot effect so like you can be holding up a fake gun and then fire it giving the gun sound and the uh, muzzle flash and a lot of other tutorials on YouTube don't have um, video like available downloads for the muzzle flash uh, video clip itself you have to go find that yourself so I'm going to be providing a link to the download for that or maybe just a link to the YouTube video that I got it from I'm also going to be showing you guys how to do the Pleasanton effect, which is where you, er, I think it's, Ple no, it's Pleasantville, some, something pleasant. Um, <laughs> it's where you take uh, the video that you have, um, like the clip you have, and you make the entire thing black and white except for one color in that clip. So say I was wearing uh, all just normal colors and then I had a really bright yellow hat, I could make the whole video black and white and a yellow hat would be the only color in the video just some other cool tutorials make sure you guys stay tuned if you like my videos make sure you rate comment and subscribe um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace